Hey guys, Rob Murphy from Melista Healing Choices here. Now today, we're having a look at the app Amaha, or what used to be known as Inner Hour. So this is a self-help, sort of emotional distress relief app. What does it do? Well, it takes you through little exercises and things to be able to calm you down emotionally and give you that support that you might need. So how effective is it at actually being able to do this? Well, let's jump in and find out. Okay, so when we jump in, we're greeted with our little home screen. You might have to do some setting up beforehand, but this is what we've got here. So as you can see, checking out today's plan is locked. So you do actually have to pay for this service. Now it's not a lot. You can start at $2.29 a month, which is pretty good, really. Or annually, $30. Or you can see there, $50, if you're really going for, uh, if you have to go pay the full price. And here's some of the stuff that you get for it. Additional courses, scientific activities, specialized program, and exclusive content. But I haven't even opted in for the free trial or anything today. So here, if we go into Finding Balance for 2020, Working Out Conflicts, you can see I've done a little bit of this. So day four, here we are into one of their many lessons. So next lesson, how this will help, how this will work, and a simple tip to help. So did you learn a new skill? Write about that there. And I'm going to just put a help with conflict. Next, was the situation as you anticipated? So remembering how it changed? No. What impacts the way you see the conflict? Um, easier. Did you face any challenges while undergoing this conflict? And so on and so forth. So learning from conflict. Did this activity help? And that's one of the little activities. So that one's just entering and reflecting and going through. Now motivating yourself. Now you can see that I'm up to day four again on this one. So getting started. How this will help. And let's understand the urgent important matrix. So here we can try it. First create your to-do list and you can add tasks and everything else. Yes. Now with this too, as we go through these things, we can go back to the previous steps, which is good. So in case you did forget something or you left it for a couple of days and you wanted to start back at the start, you're able to do so. Now, managing time better, self-care guide for the pandemic, which most of us are no longer in, fostering healthy relationships. So here we can find out what we're going to actually get from this little lesson over the five days, I believe it was. Yeah, and more courses coming soon. So, that's our Amaha. And how do you feel? And good, content, excited. And you've already selected three, so you can only pick up to three. So if I continue there, what have I been up to? I have been exercising, I have been working, cleaning. Cool. And so there's a little daily check-in as well. So you've got resources here as well, little articles that you can read and share, as you can see down the bottom there, and so on and so forth with their resources. And then we've, you can, they want you to rate it. Up here we've got our little plans, courses, trackers. So if we go into our personalized plan, well, we haven't got anything in there yet. And our goals. So, daily goals, practice deep breathing. And you can just easily tick that off. Guided massage of yourself and eat foods rich in nutrients. And you can add goals like such. And you can edit your goals as well. But that's all good. And they've got little badges to help you go along the way as well. So here we have our quick relief buddy, which is going to help a lot of people in that way. Um, yes, why not? So as you can see, this is like some of the other apps that I've reviewed where they have a little AI in there to assist you. Understood? So yeah, that's a very important one there. Not designed for crisis assistance either. So in that instance, yeah, ring a real person for help. I understand. But this is just there for that little bit of support that you might be able to get from it. Now if we go back, so you've got your premium and then you've got your profile. So you can see how many things that you've been doing. Because some of them do have audios as well. As you can see, I haven't spent a lot of time on one with audios. But they have a lot of courses here. So you're building your self-confidence, fight loneliness, foundation course for, for sleep and stress and anxiety and happiness. As well as heaps on heaps. And there are more coming soon. So actually, if we go back to, let's just go for anxiety. Let's see what we've got here. So quick muscle relaxation. This is probably going to be a little bit of an audio one. Yeah, now. Quick muscle relaxation. When you are anxious or stressed, tension builds up in all muscles of your body. This exercise. So here you can see that, you know, you can download that for 10 megabytes just about. 
but the audio is a nice clear concise and good to go. So if we get back out of that and out of that and that's really about it. So does anything really set this one apart from any of the other mental health apps and crisis apps? A little bit. The courses are varied and they do offer a little bit more than your sort of standard stuff but it's very much the same sort of thing that you'd be used to with most of the other apps that I've seen. So there's not a whole lot of content but there's enough to keep you going for a little while at least anyway. So it is well worth checking out. And the difference between premium and free, there's you can add a whole bunch more uh, little things to check off every day. And there's the access to the courses as well. There's a whole host that are locked behind that premium feature. So it may be well worth trying out for a little while for the seven day free trial to see if there is anything there that suits you. But after all that, I would give Amaha, or in an hour as it's called, about a six out of 10. It's okay. You get the days, like if you really want to go through day one and you've already done something similar in the past and you go to day two, you actually have to wait a day before it unlocks which can be quite a bit of a hassle for some people and can lead to you just getting bored or trying to do so many different courses all in one day, which then comes a bit of a nightmare. And if you leave it for a certain amount of days, like so you start with day one, leave it for three days, you're only able to go to day two. So you can't catch up either with that. So it has its pros and its cons in that way, but it doesn't let you get too far ahead of yourself either. So there is that to consider. But anyway, have you used Amaha? Would you use Amaha? What do you think of mental health apps in general? Leave a comment down below. Please remember to like, share, subscribe on this video and I will see you in the next one.